Hey guys, what's up? Calder here with Dial H for Euroflix. We're going to be unboxing some Avengers Forever. Just came out this week. I finally got my hands on a brick. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Today I played in the release day, which is the OP event for the US agent figure, and actually some really cool maps that we, uh, every game had to be played on those maps. I was really had a fun time with it, and I can't wait to play that US agent, but I bought this brick fresh off the shelf. First of all, mostly I'm excited about this. This will have both a team up card and a legacy card inside of it. And being the first one I open, it is, oh, all right, cool. So both things I wanted. We got Dark Star for our legacy and then Falcon for our team up card. That Falcon I talked on the podcast about his free attack he gets to make when Captain America has already attacked a character this turn. So I'm a big fan of both the team up and this legacy card. Also, and I own everything in the Captain America set. So this legacy, is, they were good for me. Instantly three new legacy characters that I got. But all right, let's crack into it. You guys know it's in the set. You know it's on the boosters. We're going for Soldier Supreme or Arachnite. Those are like the top ones. We got, this is such a patriotic booster, I love it. Captain America, Bucky, Wong, Miss Marvel, and Red Guardian. Pretty solid, pretty solid. That Miss Marvel is kind of a beast in a battle royale, actually. We played like three battle royales today before the uh, sealed event kicked off. Pretty nice. The uh, Red Guardian too. His whole, like, once per game, just miss me with that, is so good. So freaking good. Second booster. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is my ironic. Okay. We got Shield Operative, Vision, the Winter Soldier, and Speed. So we got two Buckies back to back. Uh, but we have, I'll take her out of the plastic here, the Super Air Prime Winter Hulk, which, very ironically, fun story actually about this figure was. After we opened all of our boosters for Seal tonight, we kind of saw what the distribution was, and everybody kind of agreed that they think the last two boosters, one's probably going to have the Super Rare Prime Winter Hulk. And I ended up buying those last two boosters, which, by the way, they gave the first option to the winner, you know? It took a long time to get to where I was before I got the choice to buy those boosters, but I bought them. So now, now I have two Super Rare Prime Winter Hulks, which I think... Um, it's gonna be little monster is on the reverse side of this case, or he's in this brick. I, again, I literally saw the distribution earlier today and I've got no idea, honestly, what I'm gonna pull. But we'll see. It is hilarious though, that I instantly see Winter Hulk. I'm gonna see if I can find my sealed boosters. These aren't my sealed boosters. It's, uh, this is also not my sealed booster. I don't wish that it was though. Falcon, Wonder Man Uncommon, Patriot Common, Iron Man Common, and then the Mockingbird for the rare. Mockingbird can actually put in some work though. I was actually really impressed by Mockingbird. When I beat Lucas Van Hollen's team that had Mockingbird on it, she actually did put in a little bit of work before she instantly died because my figures are better and I'm a better player than Lucas Van Hollen. Lucas Tom Van Hollen, I'm a better player. <laughs> Uh, all right, I am waiting to see my sealed booster. That's probably, that was probably his sealed booster. No, it definitely wasn't because he didn't have anything else that was that good on the team. Oh, ooh, okay. This is very cool. This is cool. Falcon. Iron Lad. Always choose prob and sealed. Always choose prob and sealed. Patriot. Astral Doctor Strange. And then we'll... We got a sideways uh, Gore the God Butcher here. He's on that lean right now. We got a... Look at that. He's in the lady. He's like... I mean, I'm moving back up. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I wanted Gore, too. Like, it's sick to get him again in a set. And he's all flowy. Dope. Ash, what is our generics looking right, right now? I think just Astral Strange and then a Shield Operative. That's what we got for generics. That's another big thing, is you want as many generics as possible in this set. So far, no Hydra, guys. Hydra's probably what I want the most. Oh, I love them. Hydra and Mindless Ones for uh, for Mono Red. Boom. Speak of the devil. The devil shall appear. Red Widow Drax Iron Man and we oh a mindful one excuse me but we do get the uh, the running shot pulse wave hydrogen air he's actually nuts in in a BR honestly maybe choose him over a few other figures in this set when you're picked and passed if I got past this booster and like mindful one and Red Widow were already gone I'd probably choose him over Drax the pacifist any day just because we had one guy in a BR who had Drax and like a shield operative. And he couldn't kill anything because again drax can't kill anything and it was like oof that's you're struggling you're struggling bro that was tough until he had like one figure left and then it was like all right go nuts drax i guess but that hydro generic he is he is insane 
two, one super rare, one super rare prime. So, oh, he's only a rare. Okay. Okay, interesting. So I know who got this pack, actually. Grant got this pack because Grant bodied me with it. Black Panther, Reptile, Mantis, Doctor Strange, and Blue Marvel. This is an awesome pack to get in sealed. Let me tell you why. Uh, you have an almost unkillable Blue Marvel from range who's gnarly. He also, he's also a running shot outwit, pulse wave, force blast. Doctor Strange, who's a perplex TK. Mantis, who's a perplex. Reptile, who's like almost undying. And then you have a 25 point leadership right here. This is like a utility sealed pack. It's literally insane. And also for all you snappers out there, it's hilarious seeing Blue Marvel and then Kazar instantly in a set as soon as this game like is out. But yeah, that was Grant's pack, which means we're going to get a super rare She-Hulk, I think, because that was his other pack. And if that pack also has Mantis, do we speak of the devil instantly? Yeah, speak of the devil instantaneously. So these, these were Grant's packs. So he absolutely owned me with this team. Uh, Ashville, Doctor Strange, Mantis, Wonder Man, Nick Fury, and then She-Hulk. So he played these two packs together, both Mantises, She-Hulk, the Astral Strange brought in by Doctor Strange. So that means, so now I know exactly how Grant built his team, because he skipped Wonder Man and Nick Fury, which in this case, not even a bad idea, actually. And he skipped Black Panther, too. But this team was a avengers theme team. It also had four perplexes and two outwits, which is how he didn't win. I don't know, blame dice, I guess, but he literally insane. These, this is, these are two insane packs. Look out for these. And then I think that's all I will know that's in the rest of this. I think that's probably it. I think the rest is probably a mystery. There might be a little monster in here. Is there a little monster? Super a prime and a chase? I mean, that'd be nice. We'll see. A mindless one. Hawkeye. Wonder Man. Ah, okay. Stature and then Hydra Officer. This must have been one of Lucas's packs because this is Stature, Hydra Officer, Hawkeye, and a mindless one, which he all played on his team. So this must have been his packs, which means if I get another Hawkeye pack, that's this is actually really funny. This is almost exactly what we had in Seal tonight. So it's giving me both uh, PTSD and also a sense of joy to like see what everybody had to work with. Yeah, this is Lucas's other pack. Another mindless one, the Mockingbird that he played on his team. Maria Hill, what he played on his team. Hawkeye, that he played on his team. And I think he also played that shield operative. So he played literally everything in these two packs, except for Wonder Man on his team, which is just actually hilarious. Um, we're due one more super rare, I believe. Yeah, we're due one more super rare. Ironically, neither of my packs came out of this brick, but okay. Let's see. What is it? Okay. Swordsman. Black Panther. Patriot. Hawkeye. I guess we're not doing one more super rare. I lied. That was a lie. Excuse me. So yeah, okay. Hydra Agent, Lester Hawkeye, Patriot, Black Panther, and Swordsman. Pretty solid, though. Super rare Prime. Pretty nice. Gore the God Butcher. Nice. I did want this She-Hulk a lot, actually. I really like the way the She-Hulk is designed. You know, after the last She-Hulk we got in Empire, it's good to get a deeper dial, you know, like a bigger, beefier She-Hulk. And she is, geez, she's absolutely... I mean, she shares the same sculpt here, right? So, like... They're just friggin' massive. But yeah. All right, guys, right on. Well, let me know what you pulled in this set. I'm having a ton of fun with this set, opening it. I'm reliving seals that I played a few hours ago, which is actually hilarious. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. I'll have another case unboxing for sure. I think we've already seen Simeon's unboxing. So you have a lot to look forward to coming soon. And like always, happy trails.